Hey everybody, welcome to another What Tools Inside game show live here on Amazon, Facebook, and YouTube. And you are with Matt, my good old chum and brother, my co-host, and Josh. Why do you always call host. me your co-host? Well, because, you know, there's a host, and then there's the co-host. Whatever the case. There's Jay Leno, and then the guy who plays the drums. The guy was, yeah, beside him, Paul or whatever. Paul or whatever name. That's what I mean. You're the Paul, you're the Matt no, guy I get who it. plays the drums. No, you I play get the it. guitar. Uh, guys, uh, very nice to be here. Gl uh, glad you can join us tonight. It is uh, Wednesday night. Um, this is uh, actually going to be one of our last evening game shows that we do, so right. I'm glad you could join us. It's going to be nice because we're going to be moving and shifting uh, throughout the week, um, and we're going to be doing a lot of more lives and really being able to enjoy the, uh, the, the this game show atmosphere more times throughout the week yeah and a lot more people can actually get on and, and and enjoy it and have a different prizes to win yeah it's all coming up but we, look we've got a great show for you guys tonight we're excited to get into it um a lot of fun gonna happen here in just a few minutes as soon as josh figures out what our yeah. first game is all right so here it is here's our first game I, for those who are just joining us and wondering what in the world are what tools inside I mean, this might be your first time seeing them yeah so we're going to be playing a whole bunch of games and we're going to be giving you a whole lot of chances Why to win a, a whole bunch screen? of tools. I got to be really close to no, you. No, not that close. You know what I mean? Like uh, a, little, a little bit of a buffer. Well, we're not there yet, but we are playing for grip right tools. That's so our, that's first, our one. first game. First game. So let me explain to you here. Up. Now, uh, we, we, we play different games and you have chances to win different tools throughout the night. All you got to do is answer the question correctly and randomly you will right. be chosen. Possibly you will be right. chosen to win that particular tool. So here's the first game. Matt and I are going to tell you a story. Matt's going to start it off. And the question is, who is bluffing? Who's actually telling you a false story? All right, so here's our first game. We're going to move that on over as soon as our guy gets it. Uh, we're, he's going to move it over to show you who's, who's bluffing. bluffing. I don't know what the whole uh, explosion is going oh, on behind the scenes. This is what tools inside thing. Right. I can see his mouse panic moving. That's all right. Oh, and now we have a, a countdown. Right, here we go. Ooh, Hang on, just give nice. us a second. We're going to be back on. Oh, there we are. Once he's got this all figured out. Now, and then we need the game thing. Let's Matt, get that why don't you go ahead and start us off with uh, the, your, your story. Okay. Bluff. Or, Bluff tell us away. the truth. All right, so here we go. Now, who's bluffing? There, he's got it. Our, uh, our graphics guy got caught up to us. You were just talking too fast, I think. Maybe. All right, so look it. This is all about... So we're, we're going to be talking about a framing gun. Let's have that. This is what you can win. Talk about get, coming right out of the gate with a big prize, Okay. This right here, guys, is the uh, Griprite Coil Framing Nailer. Check that out. It's an absolutely beautiful um, pneumatic tool. It's got your rapid fire on it. It's got your adjustable things. But we'll get into some of the details in a minute. But in order for you to win this, you got to figure out whether which one of us is bluffing. So the reason why we're going to be, the, what we're going to be talking about is about he's framing. Been, he's been really stretching this out because he's trying to figure out a story in his head. No, 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 no. I just want you guys to understand why I'm going. It's about being framed, okay? That's the, that's the story about being framed, like a, like framing a, gun, like a lawyer. being framed. Like someone in the law. In the well, like you, maybe, maybe not for like a law situation, but a major issue, okay? So for me, this is going down, I was a youth, maybe four or five years old. And believe it or not, I remember it to this day. My two sisters literally drew my name on the window ledge. In the way I would write my name, like they, they wrote okay. it, they kind of made it. So let me get this straight. Your who's bluffing story about framing is that your sister told on you and said it was Matt. No, my two sisters, they, 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 they connived. They connived. They made my word, my name exactly yeah. what it was. And they and it made it right, exactly the way I would write it. Told the parents, I got in trouble, disciplined for it. And well, let, let me be honest with it. you folks. It's very possible that that could be true because it's a very lame story. I mean, like, uh, you know, a, a sibling telling on a sister. Now, here's my story. Mm. All right, now, who's bluffing? Um, when I was 18 years old, and yeah, we, we grew up in Canada. When I was 18 years old, I was brought, uh, I got a subpoena, not a subpoena. What do you call that when you're on, uh, a when they ask you to come to be the jury? The, jury get, duty. Jury duty. That's, that makes sense. Uh, so I got a jury duty, right? I was 18 years Murray old. Murray helping him with his story. And so my dad said, okay, listen, son, now you got you to gotta go and you got to be respectful. You got to be dressed up nice and, you, you know, do your, do your civil duty. So I did that. I usually keep those up picked. and throw behind the bedpost, but whatever. Now, what I should have done is just when they were asking me questions, is take my tie and go, oh, you know, like, uh, you know, you're guilty. Guilty. Uh, but anyways, uh, 
I, we, we, I, I was selected to be part of the jury, and then I was select, selected to be foreman. My God, this is a long story, yes. hey guys. Like yeah. he's really struggling here. So the people, the the, pre, the people who were involved, tried to um, sway the jury by doing. Did they the, offer you pizza? No, they just they they sat on the court steps when they knew the jury was going to be walking out, and cried and did this whole big. It sounds like a movie. I think it I've was. Seen. It was. It was a frame job if I've ever seen it. And Jonathan anyway, bluffing. No. Passing my that's, passing that's, the a, gun. that's a fact. Right. It's a factual story. So uh and, and I was made foreman. The people went to life in a prison for life. Uh, no. He's full on bluff. Oh, let's let's chair. Go ahead. Choose who you want to choose. Matt or Josh. Let's put that into the into the chat right now. For your chance to win this immediately right now. Okay, for your chance to win this. Put Matt or Josh for your chance to win. Someone will choose it. Now this is the uh, you know this is the grip right. You've seen these uh, type of nail before. They've been around for a long time. Really great uh, product. You have your different adjustments for the heights of nails, depending on the thickness of the nails. You get a little twist and turn. Let, lift it up or down. Easily locks into place. You got your rapid fire here with your uh, adjustment depth adjustment. Yeah. And your your airline. There's really a lot great. of really great features about this gun. That match just went over, obviously, yeah. but like. Uh... They really went into some serious R&D when designing this gun. It's well balanced in your hand. It's the new red tool line that they have too. Yeah, the, the grip light, grip rights, whole red tool line is really cool. Um, it's great. Now, listen, Matt, I want you to be honest with the people. Tell them the truth. The truth Who's about bluffing? what? Now, oh, wait. Josh is bluffing. I was bluffing. I was on the jury and stuff, but and, Josh know. was bluffing, and uh, I never sent someone to prison for life. You think I could sleep with myself after that? Sleep with yourself? The the um here's the here's the thing though uh for those who haven't uh played this game what before, a, what a ridiculous story like he was grasping uh, at straws yeah. for that now whoever hasn't played this game before um remember put your answers and stuff in the uh, uh the the uh carousel oh, no the, the carousel, chat box the chat box and we have somebody in the background that picks winners randomly so it's not the first person who answers but it's yeah, it's one of the right correct the, guesses that will get chosen. Guesses is, is, and so there you go. That's what it was. It's a, it's a framing coil nailer that is uh, now what you have uh, to win at this moment. So uh, hope you, Matt or Josh was what you're supposed to put in. Josh I was, was the bluffing. Bluffing. So I was uh, not bluffing. So if you put you put in Josh, then you were correct. I'm just answer. communicating with the person to get your answer. Right now. now, in just a few minutes, we're gonna get that. Um, we're gonna get that answer. Or who the winner was. But what a great tool. This is an expensive tool. This is tool. like a $350 tool. It's expensive tool. Right out of the gate for Don't you guys. Don't quote me on that, but it's very close to that. Yeah. Uh, All right. Several hundred dollars. So yeah. while we're waiting on that to come through, we're going to get started on our next one because it's a yeah. bit of a setup we got to do for it. Well, not really, but you get the idea. Now, Matt, uh, grip right. Um, our next one's going to be, oh. by the way, Iron Age. It's a trivia question. Uh, Go ahead. What's your question about the grip? No, I was just going to say, uh, they have, if you're in the trades at all. Yes. Okay. Every single garage in America has grip right screws. Above, well, you know I, what yeah, I mean? Every garage the, 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 work the or, But the whole aisle at Home Depot is just. If you don't have the red line of grip right tools, make sure you look, you take a look at it, look at the reviews, look at the products. And they have a lot of unique guns too. Yeah. Like staplers and different things that are maybe just perfect for the job that you're doing. Okay. I look at that. Right okay. Who's your winner? It's Zanoki. Zanoki, congratulations! You won that nail gun. So make sure that you uh, direct message or email info what tools inside, and we will get that information or get that out to you uh, as soon as possible. But congratulations Moving on, on that to one. game number two. Congratulations, Zanoki. This yep. is a trivia game, and we're gonna show you the trivia. All right. So here we go. This is a very interesting trivia. I've actually I'm really surprised myself. Answer this question for us. Okay, it's as simple as that, and we'll tell you a little bit about the boots that you're gonna be winning. What is the highest mountain range in North America? Easy. What is it? Colorado. The Northern let's Rockies. Let's wait. Let's wait for our answers from Mount the, Rushmore. It's the highest mountain range, friend. Oh. Goodness sakes here. But look. I thought it was the highest mountain range of them. We got a couple of there's a couple of pictures there to give you some hints. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Some hints. What do you got is there? Is that technically America? What a GMT Alaska? truck. Yeah. Well, I mean, it it's the 52nd state. No. 
Where are you getting your facts from? I'm from Canada. I don't know geography here in no, America. No, my God. Yeah, do you ever not? It's, I mean, like, it's unbelievable. I mean, but it's, I mean, come on. That's more Canada than it's America. No, exactly. But listen, the uh, let's talk about the boots for just a second. Bring the boots on here, Josh, just for a second. All right, so these are the Iron Age uh, boots. What, what I really like about these ones, especially, is that they're like a hiking boot. Yes, I can see. Okay, so they're not they're not like boots that um, that look like a work boot, like a leather work boot. These are a smaller. These are a smaller boot. They look like they fit your feet very well. Right. And we're gonna and we don't want to say the name of them because it's gonna end up giving you giving things away here. But just so that you can see what it is, here's what it looks but like. But it is a Medgard boot, which is nice. Yeah, it's got the steel toe. You got the um, yeah, you got the. The uh, nice laces here, they're like the nylon laces. Yeah, that's true. They're nice. But you've laces. got, but no, but Josh, you got these little clips on the top here that bring it nice and tight around yeah, your ankle. That's so true. you have that full ankle support when you're doing it, right? Well, here's that's what I like about a lot of the uh, um, the boots that that uh, they make is they have double stitching, and it's Kevlar stitching. They use the same material that goes into uh, uh, bulletproof jackets that the police wear. The same thing. The uh, oil resistant and slip resistant. Yeah. Okay, so depending on the job you're doing, but a very comfortable all-around boot that um, you can really... Someone's wearing this. These, my, oh. yeah. Oh. Why would we both start? Uh, what's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the, the, the answer? Let's get our answer. Let's get the answer. The answer is... Well, is uh, Denali, of course. Uh, the highest mountain is... range in North America is the Denali. Now, uh, the Denali National Forest is a beautiful forest to go to. Uh, a lot of bears... Now, everybody knows, if a bear attacks, you fight back. And that's the... You remember those? Don't, don't take your hints. What are you going to do? You run. Down. You run up a tree. <laughs> See? You don't listen to either of us. See that? Yeah, I mean? the other. We have no idea. Jonathan Cole, congratulations. Jonathan, Jonathan Cole, you won the boots. Um, in the size of your preference. See, I changed it up this time. Yeah. Normally, I say we only have size nine and a half for you. Uh, you but you don't like that joke. Jokes. You don't like that joke. So, congratulations, uh, Jonathan Cole. Um, really nice boots. You're going to like these. He's got a nice little leather section on the top here, um, along with a very sturdy sole that's really going to last yeah, you a long time. You are really going to like it. I got the, it's got some nice defense Grip. on the back heel. Yep. Um, so, when you're backing up, you don't hit your hurt Yeah, yourself. it's really nice. They're, these okay, are great Iron Age boots. Iron Age makes so many boots for different the amount of uh, The amount of R&D that goes into the boots yeah. that these people make is amazing. They, I can't they, they, for the life of me remember the actual name of this particular boot. No, yeah. it's, it's 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 completely escaped my mind. I, I have no idea. It's shocking. Mm. But anyway, I love it. It's a very nice boot. You guys will like that. You can check it out on their website. Uh, it's gonna work. Now, next game. So congratulations to our winner for that one, Jonathan Cole. All right. So next game, Josh is. Read my lips, man. I need a. Uh, nice tunes. Read my lips. I need your. Right They're right there. Uh-huh. Those are oh, the ones we're going to use. Gosh. Now, I don't know if you want to use that. We should probably use another set for you. Because <laughs> if you can Those are my personal uh, isotune free, and sometimes they have a little bit of earwax because they go right deep into your ear canal, okay? And they work really well. I hope nobody's winning But they're my, personal, <laughs> they're my personal ones. You don't have to use those. Use a different... <laughs> you can use a different Again, set. Do you do it. If you want. Use a different set, and we're going to do the Read My Lips. There's no sets. Yeah, uh, use your the use the uh, right here. These ones here. Here. Oh, okay. Okay. You got us. All right. Make sure they're on. They should be on. Turn that Maybe on. Maybe clean your ears out though. Like it's not. No, that I, you hard. know what it is. Yeah. Eh? Like I like. Uh, you think you got it all, but then it just kind of extracts it. It pulls it. It happens. You get older and you got hair in your ears and all that and dirt. It's just what happens. You guys understand. I don't have to tell you guys. So when you're all set there, Josh, you let us know. I gotta get my uh, my chart here. I know exactly. I got a phrase. So we're we're gonna play a game called Read My Lips. The phrase that I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I'm going to um, say the phrases. There's five different phrases. Uh, it doesn't require any graphics, I don't think. I know my graphic guy is just panicking because he can't find it. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna say the phrases to Josh. He's gonna repeat them back to me. There's five phrases. You gotta guess how many will Josh get correctly. Zero to five. Oh, look, you did find a graphic after all, Mark. What do you mean? You can't put it over? Let's talk it through. Our graphics guy has failed us. 
And now we have to pick up where he left off. No problem. <coughs> oh, here yeah, we go. It's a good tune. You got your music on and you're ready to go? This is Audio Slave. He's not even listening to me right now. Let me pull it up here. Okay. Questions. All right. So one to five. Pick one to five. This is Read My Lips for Josh. I'm going to say a phrase to him when he's facing me. And um, he's going to try and read my lips. Figure out what I'm saying. If he gets it right, I'll let you know. But he won't. He normally doesn't. But one to five, that's the, an that's the number you got to put in for your chance to win. A pair of these isotunes free, okay? I'll show you these in a minute, what they look like, without the earwax. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready, bud. By the way, while he's setting up, let me just show you real quick. These are the isotunes free. This is how nice they are. They come in a nice little, uh, now, little thing like this. See that? And then they're individual. There are no wires to them. They just come off. I can't see where you guys see anymore. I don't know which one's working. Got to back up way over here for you to see. Can you even see that? Oh, so our zoom is out too then. So our zoom is out and now, our Now, for those are who are... Uh, Sorry, guys. This is really cool. We're wondering if I you. can hear. These are designed for heavy equipment. You're working on heavy... These ones in particular... And I'm listening to some heavy music right now. Heavy metal. Here we go. This is good stuff. All right. Here we go. Yeah. All okay, right. So one to five. Put that answer in. One to five. Put it in now. Do you understand the concept? You just explained to them. Are you ready? Ready? Is that a thumbs up? I don't know. What are you? Robert Dole? Are you good? Yes. Were you Richard DeSantis? Okay. Give me a good thumbs up here. As you sow, so shall you reap. I can't say that on uh, live TV. As a whole, you <laughs> shall reap. <laughs> As you sow, so shall you reap. Your a hole will reap something. No, hold on. No, I know the saying. I know the saying. Hold on. As say it one more time. As you sow, so shall you reap. As your soul, so sh as you sow, so shall you reap. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got one. I don't know how I knew that. <clears throat> hey, hey, birds of a feather flock together. Bushes, feathers flocked together. Is that a political statement? <laughs> birds of a feather flock together. Bushels of feathers fall together. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay. It's flocked together, so it must be birds of a feather. Birds of a feather flock together. All right, so he's got two. I've never done this good so far, ever. Bread always falls. First of all, he licked his lips. Very weird. Don't lick your lips and then talk to me. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, <laughs> I, I got to make sure you're, you're getting ready to kiss. You know what I mean? Bread always falls buttered side down. Oh, <laughs> main surgery shouldn't be this hard. Bread always falls buttered side down. Bread always falls on the poor. I wish that were the truth. <laughs> then we wouldn't have any hungry people. Bread always falls butter side down. Bread always falls in the shanty town? <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's no good. You didn't get it. Quiet on the set. Hold on. Let me use the sound stop. Okay. Put another one on. Put another more song. song. Uno we two more to go. But he's got oh, one, it's a commercial. He's got one right. So I should have played for. I should have paid for. He Pandora. never pays for the full thing, right? So um, he's got one right so far. One. You have time to change your answer. Just saying. Thank you. Are you me. ready, friend? Wait, it's fading to black with Metallica. A good tune. You ready? No, it's a very slow start. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. He who laughs last didn't get it. He who has the last laugh. 
He who laughs last didn't get it. Who he he who laughs last is a clown. He who laughs last didn't get it. He who laughs last is a dad. All right, so you didn't get that one. Last one. One more. You are what you eat. So avoid nuts. To what do we owe this distinction? <laughs> you are what you eat, so avoid nuts. Something? Why do you always want to avoid us? You are what you eat, so avoid nuts. <laughs> It's a sentence. Uh, something about avoiding our sentence. Don't don't avoid your sentence. You're going to prison. No, you're wrong. He's wrong. Three. That's it. That's it. So he got two correct, right? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He I, got two right. I thought I got three. Two out of five. The uh, answers were: As you sow, so shall you reap. Birds of a feather flock together. Bread always falls buttered side down. <laughs> I thought it fell to the poor. <laughs> he who laughs last didn't get it. And you are what you eat, so avoid nuts. So that was the... I'm surprised you didn't get nuts no, in there. No, I didn't, no you're, you're a guy yeah. like you. So we have a ch you have a chance right now to win. You should have put in how many, Josh, guessed correctly. These ice cream free. What's really great about the ice cream freeze is that there's zero wires. That's why they're called free, right? So you put yeah. them in each ear, and now they away they go, listening to music, answering your phone calls, anything you want, and it's also noise isolating. Uh, but Matt, here's the best part of them. What about them? All right, so look, you're listening all day, and uh, and uh, the battery dies, okay? Yeah. But you're nowhere near a charger. That's all right. This is a docking bay. I, I hate to touch these because they're so filled with wax. How did I disappear from the screen altogether? I don't know, but you, put, you plug that in, and there you go. Now it's charging again without this plugged in. Right. That's it. It actually charges like a little just, battery bank yeah, for it's, you. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Really great. So that's great. These are the these are the Isotunes free great product. So we're waiting on our winner as soon as you can pull one up for us. And uh, then we'll move on to our next game. We've had three really great games so far. We need to give it away several hundred dollars in tools. Already. Already. Yep. It's amazing. Almost a, yeah, almost a thousand. SSBM. Thousand dollars in tools already. SSBM is our winner. SSBM, congratulations, you won the Isotunes. Make sure you either direct message us if you're watching on a, on a social media platform or send us a, an email at info at whattoolsinside.com right. for, your, for your claim on your price. All right, okay? so moving forward, Matt. Where else are we going to move? I don't know. Backwards? Put that over there. I and don't want to touch this anymore, I told you. There was a bit of earwax in it, I understand. No, All right, no, don't talk about the product yet. You uh -oh. can't talk about the product. Oh. It's going to give it away. Okay. Okay, here's the game. The game is from Capro. Yes, yes. And I'm supposed to have, this is going to get complicated. I'm supposed to have information about this to tell you some information about the, the product and then the question. This is going to get, this is going to get awkward because I don't have it. All I was right, never so given now, it. Now, I was never given it. For those the back end are listening it. right now, just use it. Send me something. Save me. No. Here, look it. This is the product, but we have to get with the what the uh Just ask Oh, me. I do understand. I remember what the question was. I don't remember what it was. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the product. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's a little bit about the product. So this is the T Square Work Center. Okay? So you've seen a T Square before, uh for drywall, right? Or for plywood or whatever when you gotta make your markings yeah, on. Yeah, sure. This is a Capro product. It's a really, really nice, really, really nice product. Um, it's got this sliding handle. Now the handle slides to the position that you want to hold it in, and then when you pinch the grip, it locks it there. Yeah. So that's really cool. That's a good. That's a good little. Pay very close attention to all the details that we're telling you about. Okay. It's important for you to understand this. Now, what are these things for here, Josh? This is for you. Uh, it's a knife guide. So you put your knife in here, and then you, oh, just your blade, just your blade. See it this way. And then you slide that, and it and it stays along the edge. So. You know when when you've been cutting drywall and you and it comes whoa it comes way out here because you, you cut into your it. your aluminum level a little bit or something like that yeah or, or you go way out and it's yeah. a mess it, this keeps it right along the edge so it's got a guide for for when you're going that way and it's also got a guide for when you're going the other direction right little little spot slots to put your knife blade into really cool just very unique little things that they do uh, the level or the um, the uh, 
rule itself is also a oh, um, 51 in, that fifty one inch rule. Oh, oh. Right? Um, it sit, it's but it's also got it sets at forty eight inches when you've got your um, right. when you got your T on it. But here's I didn't put it in. Now it's locked. It and now it's locked. It didn't slide it in. There we go. But it locked it in. Now, this is for when you're hanging pictures and marking for where you have to put those, those kinds of things. That's what this is for. You put it exactly where you want your pictures to be hung on the wall. And you got your level right there. Tells it nice and level. Really great little multi-tool that you've got here. It's really impressive from Capro. What I want to know is how long is this level or this ruler? How long is the ruler? How many inches long is the ruler? From not from tip to tip, but from 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 with the T on it. You sure that's what they're yep, asking? That's it. Really? So it's a good uh -huh. thing I said that then. I suppose. Maybe they might did tell you. From here to the bottom, how many inches is that? How long is it? So if you were gonna put this on a drywall sheet. That's right. How would that fit? So if you went and you put it on a four foot drywall sheet, what would your answer be? Yeah. If you put what it on a four times twelve, if you put it on a four foot plywood sheet, right yeah. at the edge, and it, and it went from one end clear to yeah. the other. Yeah. So if you put what this on a forty be? inch plywood uh, sheet, a forty inch, forty eight inch uh, drywall sheet, what would your answer be? I want to make it real nice and simple for you guys. Yeah. So there, Josh will have your answer for you in a minute. So there you go. Uh, the answer, of course, was 48 it's inches. It's also got really great little compartments here. I like here. that, man. Why would you put in A there? little magnet on as well for just to hold some screws or some different things that you want. What do you put in there? In here? I put my knife or something. I wouldn't yeah, a knife it. or pencils or all sorts of things, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, great little... And it's always there. But the other, you can also... By the way, there's five winners. Five of you. Yeah. Will win right now. So make sure you put that answer in that we asked. How long is this ruler? The answer, of course, is 48 inches. That's the answer that's... Technically, what was written on the chart, yeah, but I was correct in saying there's 53 on the ruler. Well, I suppose. So we'll uh, take either answer, by the way, as the answer. Sushi Freak is our winner. So congratulations. We have five winners. Freaky. Oh. Let's so start counting. I'm just waiting for the rest. Sushi where Freak else is can our you go, Where else can you go on a Wednesday night yeah. and win prizes like this? Five of you in a row. Just gonna, a prize capital is going to send out to you guys. Why not? Like, what, a, what an awesome, uh, awesome treat from them. The five of you, you just, you just constantly, you know, this is way too complicated for you. You just complicate, concentrate uh, on the winners, please. I'll Let just, us know. I'll just read the winners. Let us know who the I winners am. are. This just slides in. Insert into T-square. It says right on it with an arrow. And I didn't do yeah, that right. Yeah, but now there's one that I know that they have that, that it also slides in the other way. So yes, it's, it's a different, it's a different one. It's a storage. You're right. So that's what I was looking for. Right. But, but you can get one. They have, I'll tell you something about, about uh, Capro. They uh, never stop. Innovating. 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 They got a they lot of stop. really cool products. It's no amazing. It. it really is. All right. So there's your, there you got five. So five are Okay. Five so we've got uh, Sushi Freak, Henry Han, Explosive Meat. Oh, my. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you don't cure it so long. Yeah. Maybe change your name. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe you won't be so sick. <laughs> what else we got? That's it. We've got three so far. Sushi Freak, Two Meat, Two Meat Lovers. Two meat sushi lovers. Freak, Henry Han, and Explosive Meat. Yeah, okay. We got some more games coming up here, guys, so just stay stay tuned. In fact, why don't you pass me that? Which one? That one. I'm going to show them what this one is. This is actually pretty fun. Make sure you're watching for our next winners. Okay, so look. Angela Alquist. Angela Alquist. We're looking for one more winner. One more. One more. That, that, 48 T, that T square is going to be your favorite T square moving forward, I promise you. Yeah, John Harper. John who? Current Caper. John Caper. John Caper. So let's read them all again. One list. One Sushi list. Freak, Henry Han, Explosive Meat, Jessica Alquist, and John Caper. You all won that, that, that T-square. That T-square. And I'm telling you, you're going to love it. So make sure you either DM us or send us a message at info at what tools inside. For your, for your chance to win. Well, not your chance. Not for, you, for, me, for your information. Right. We'll get you. We'll get the product out to you. We'll get your information. And we'll I'm going to sit. I'm going to show you a set of locking pliers that you've never seen before in your life. You're going to love these things, okay? So here's what they look like. Notice this pivoting jaw here. You see that? That's so when you clamp onto something square, it moves. Okay, how, how can I display that there? here? That's it. Right, like that. It kind of, it goes, it, it follows that grip. So it's, 
it's on it nice and square, exactly the way it should be. I'll get this looser a little bit so I can snap it down. Oh, I'm well, not that strong. Look at this guy. Oh, even if still, it's a bit more. Come on. There you go. That's more like it. Now, notice how that locks on there. Nice and square on, on the product. Not like yeah, a rounded. That, that, that jaw that changes, that pivots, really does help you fit all sorts of different sizes. These are really cool. So this is what we're going to be playing for next, okay? We're going to be doing a game. Josh and I are going to be doing a game called One Hand Operation. It's a very simple game. We're going to figure this out. We'll show you guys how it's done. And look, look how you release this. Just, just pull up on that little red lever, and it releases. That pivots to get the surface exactly the way you want it, whatever angle it's on. It's really cool. Now... Bring this over. Okay. So we got our little table here. All of our products. Let's get rid of the Matt versus Josh graphic so we can they can clearly see what it is that we're talking about here. So get yourself a boot, Josh. All right. So you got basically you just got to choose Matt or Josh. Which one of us is going to get who's going to finish first? Okay. You got to tie that lace like you would with a bow. It doesn't have to be super tight or anything. But you got to tie that lace, you got to stay together with one hand. And then, uh, have you practiced this? Is it no. even possible? No, you can do it. It can be done. I'm told it can be done. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a timer? Or are you just going to no, go no. until just, we're done? Just go until you're done. Then all when right. you're ready. All are right. you ready to start? Ready? So, all you have to do at home, choose Matter Josh. See, because this whole thing operates with one hand, which right. is why it's we're calling it the one hand game, right? Makes sense. I don't know. I think it's just one. Is there more than one? I think there's only one winner. Maybe we'll be told otherwise. Maybe. Check your messages. Maybe we'll be told differently. All right. Ready? All right. Go. Oh. He's already got them both in his hand. Now. Oh, they can't use two hands. Actually, not that hard, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's hard to cinch it. Right. Now, hold on a second. I think I'm gonna got it here. I got it. I'm done. Gonna, I'm gonna say done too. Let me see yours. Mine's much better. Yeah, and he finished a fraction of a section more than me. So Josh is the winner on that one. I you could easily, Josh. I could easily lose an arm and and, and still tie your boots. You guys, you you guys who've lost an arm, I think so put you, that aside. I think you can do a great job. Uh, congratulations! Three winners, three winners. There's three of you that will win this. I thought now, it was only one. If you guys said Josh, look at the knot. That's a nice knot in there. Yeah, I'm good proud job. of that. No, good job on that, Josh. I want you guys to see that knot. <laughs> One-handed. You probably get pretty good at that if you only had one arm. Oh yeah, you you went just as fast. Yeah. Because you would use your foot or something else, you know? Your teeth, maybe. Well, yeah. just bend right over. Maybe. So, uh, what a great, uh, r great tool from um, from Kinipex. Yeah. This is this is the uh, chrome vanadium. The, uh, most of their stuff is vanadium steel, so it's really it's really quality. But the, what you really want to focus on is this right here. Right. It's the, it's an adjustable that pivoting jaw. jaw. That pivoting jaw. I don't like how Josh took it from me. So he's got his own. I got my own right here. Same thing. But it's no, these are very for very, a locking for a locking pliers, these are really, really great. It's yeah. also got another spot down here when you got a grip like on a pipe or something like that, you really gotta grab onto it, you know. It's got really aggressive teeth down here. So these teeth are aggressive, but they're like smooth at the same time. So they'll grip but not destroy. These ones down here, you better not be worried about what you're grabbing onto, because it's gonna it's gonna grip it. Yeah. It's gonna really grab solid. So, really great product from Kinipex. Um, you guys are going to enjoy these. The now, we've got amazing. two winners, man. we got Kobe and even, uh, Evan Kobe, Papier. Kobe and Evan Papier? It may be just paper. Or, it might just be paper. Paper. P-A-P-I-E-R? I'm thinking it's more like Papier. Like a French kind of Yeah, word. like a Evan Papier. French for paper. Evan Paper. Very good. So there you go. That's our three, the two winner. We need a third one. No, that's yeah. We need one more. One more. Got rolling on out of there, Josh. Now we've got again. Here's our two. Our last two winners. Yep. Is uh, 
is Kobe and Evan Papier, and we're waiting on one more, and that is for the um, the adjustable. We still have a couple more giveaways to do, so make sure you're sticking around here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Doris Humber. Doris Humber. Do we have another one of these boards? Do you want it? Oh, no, we need another board. Let me let me grab. Mark, can you grab us another board, bud? Whiteboard. Well, so, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, so, again, here's our winners. Kobe, Evan Papier, and Doris Humber. I have a marker. We uh, congratulations. Those guys won, uh, won uh, the game, the one-handed operation game where we tied the laces. Now, yeah, and thank you, Kinipex, for that. That's a great, great prize. Three of you won that. When you when you start using Kinipex tools, you don't want to go anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, you really, really don't. Really something. You really don't go back ever, ever. Yeah, you don't do. And any. the pros will tell you the same thing. They're just long lasting, and they're and they're designed. They, that's all they make is pliers. Yeah, and they have like a thousand yeah, or twelve hundred. It's, it's of them amazing. Or it's amazing how many they have. A lot. All right, All right so board. the next game is going to be a hangman. Everybody knows how to play hangman. Not difficult to do. We're going to we're going to fill in the letters and we're going to solve the phrase. All right. Okay. So here is the game hangman. Matt, are you going to be drawing? You're going to do the drawing. <laughs> I'll hold it. And I'll help the team. All right. So what am I drawing? Well, we got to we got to find out. We don't know what it is. All right. So here we go. Um. We gotta start making your uh, your stand, right? Oh yeah, okay. That's right. This is hangman. I was I was doing sh a Pictionary. Right. Let's do a hangman. Oh, Mark, go. Mark we're gonna need to know what our thing is, bud. You gotta bring up the next one, so we can know what it is that we're supposed to do here. Pretty sure. Okay, there's the. Uh, right, so don't so, don't move that over. Let's just watch. All right. So there, it's a it's, it's, it's phrase. It's a phrase, and it's four letters. And yeah. it's the phrase of the stack rack system. The stack rack logo, the uh, phrase, terminology. Okay. You're good. Okay. Those lights are awfully bright. But right. Be able to see, right? What is this? That's it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think so. All right. All right. Here we go. So start doing some letters. Start giving us letters. And as the letters come up, we're going to try it. All right. We need an A, Josh. An A. All right, let's see here. Uh, can we have that phrase back up there, Mark? No. Like, uh, you, don't, right. you don't know your own, though? You don't know it? Right. He wants yeah. a phrase back up. And it should be another one there. That's it. All right. All right, so A. All right. How about an R? We have an R in there, Josh. This guy, he's cheating. Give me a D. <laughs> Looking for a D. That's it. Look at this guy trying to figure it out. Like he's just, just I'm that. struggling. Looking oh, for wait, I got an S. An S. I got a letter S. Um... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> My brain is just. Who did? Yeah, they, everybody knows what it is. Without yeah. even a, a crossing guy or anything. Come no. on, your job made easy. Very good job. Your job Very made good. easy. That's a sack rack. How did guys? everybody get it so quick? And we'll tell you why it's such a great product. Why did everybody get that so one? quick, Matt? called branding folks so the sack racks uh, are an amazing painting tool for doors and trim you paint it's just bright in here i was like I my eyes. blinded the um you screw literally screw these things to the door they're, they're a very simple product it's just you take this right here am i sipping on your foot yeah you are i just didn't say anything because I, I figured you'd get off soon enough so you screw this literally screw this to the door you got four of these they go into all four corners of the door you paint one side flip the door right over Paint the other side while it's still wet and stack all your doors on top of each other in one location. And they got a nice little locking clip here to keep them from sliding out. What a great little tool. Uh, I mean, you can use it for painting doors, shutters, uh, trim, trim, uh, uh, hardy boards, anything. I'm telling you, the, the, the very, very handy cabinet doors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, there's a new bracket coming out soon for the cabinet doors. Oh, uh, I know. Shh. Don't tell anybody. But uh, they stack up a nice, nice just like that. It you really does door. make, it, it takes, you can do all the doors and all the trim in, in your whole house or building, wherever it is, in a small room and compact yeah. area. 
And it's a long-lasting tool. It's a tool that's gonna like it it lasts a long time. Sure. So it's not something you just throw away. Like well worth it. In fact, you throw these in a bucket of paint thinner or whatever, and it cleans it right up nice and clean, and you're good to go for the next. We have winners here, Matt. All right, let's have our winner. Oh man, here. Let's have our winner for the stack rack system. Contractor Ross pack. Williams. Ross Williams, you won the contractor pack of stack racks. Congratulations. Ross Williams, congratulations, you got that stack. Yeah. That's a $90 value. That's a great product. Yeah. Or no, no, wait. $80 value. $80 value. $80 value. $80 value. You're uh, going to love that. It's... Make sure that you uh, direct message us or uh, send us an email at info at what tools inside to claim your price. Okay. All, All right. right. We got our last game show that we're going to, or game that we're going to play for you right now. So on that side of you, Josh, you don't have to look too far. So over here. paintbrushes. This is the... What's this here? I don't know. It's not it. Brushes. We're going to be talking about the Stinger brushes. And I think I'm... Yes. So this is the Stinger brushes. These are really great. You're going to, you're going to love these. We'll talk more about these in just a moment. Uh, uh, but we're going to play Blind Pictionary. So give me that Blind Pictionary. That's why the t-shirt's here. Who's so, drawing? You, you or me? No, you are. Let me just... Let me, I'll help? do it myself. Thank you. Try it. And put that around. I don't think it's going to reach. This is going to be great. Folks, you're going to love this. You have to tell me the word. Well. Okay. I'm supposed to draw that. Ow! I just hurt myself. Where's the, where's the, 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 I got to, I got to clean this off with my hand now. I put this blindfold on way too early and way too tight. Now you're just awkward. Yeah. All right, here you go. You know what the word is? I need the marker. Yep. Let me get you set up. I here, feel like Mark. a doctor. Scalpel. Thank you. It was nice. Of I you already, to I already took it. it. <laughs> I was gonna say it was nice of you to not do that. I took the cap off already, and now he went to check, and he put a mark on his thumb. That's the way All you go. Right, where am I? Where's my? All right. Here? So look, figure out what he's trying to draw here, guys. Okay. All right. Figure it out. Okay. Here, hold on a second. I gave you a hint when it came to the brush. All right now. I'm gonna do this. What, the, what are you drawing right now? A mouse? That's to me. That's it looks like a mouse to the tail. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do this. Separate beast. Separate beast. Okay. It looks like a mouse with a tail so far. Now some sort of a blob. One of our poor. Uh, looks like a like a like a duck, like a rubber duck. And now hold on, hold on here. Now hold on. This this thing up here. This yes, guy. yes. There's a man here. Gotta find the edge. Okay, you got a your okay, a stick figure. Poke. Poke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had to say poke. This, what is this action? Alright, I think we, we're getting people it. gotta be getting it. I mean that's some good art. I think we're getting it. And in fact, if I don't tell you what it is, you'll never get it. It's a stinger. Oh my! Okay. Word. I thought that 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 was a bumblebee. That did not look like a bumblebee. No, that that's a mess. Look at this duck down here. You made. It wasn't a duck. That was a stingray. That's a stingray. That yeah, it was. That was the ocean. And that was the sting. I don't think I could do better. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Even that if looks you... like a that looks like a a, a weird uh, uh, what's the kid, the kid that lies? Poke, uh, Pokemon. Uh, Pinocchio. Tokyo. All I know is you did not do a good job with that, but the answer was Stinger. And that was for our final chance. This is for a... Uh, let me show, show me show the brushes here. Oh, yeah. These are great. These are great. This is for a, a, um, a combo pack of these... Um, a pro pack, of a bundle, like they call it, of the Stinger brush. The Stinger brush has a special specialized tip on it. See how the tip goes a little bit longer? I'll stand back here where it's clearer a bit. It goes a little bit longer and it's firmer tip. Okay, so when you're painting along... That actually cuts in to the corners, to the edges, yeah. because these are firmer filaments when these ones are softer. So really great product from uh, Stinger Brush, and they have the two inch, two and a half inch, and a three inch uh, brush. So that's what you're uh, that's what you're winning uh, in this Pro Bundle right now from them. Awesome stuff. All right. Uh, so while we're waiting on our winner, uh, I have a winner actually. It's oh, okay. uh, Ken Cole. Ken Cole, congratulations, Ken now, Cole. Ken Cole, that's a that sounds like a old Ken Cole. Nat King Cool fell off of the uh, broke into a million pieces. Who is that? No idea. Who is the king that fell off of the? Uh... 
Make sure you uh, join us, guys. Make sure you're following us on Amazon or anywhere else that you're, that you're playing, paying attention. Uh, because uh, we have um, live game shows coming up where we're doing giveaways during the day. And that, like a, Look, like we a, just gave away hundreds and hundreds like of dollars. Like a Wheel of Fortune or, or like a... Uh, tools. It's amazing. Or like, uh, what do you call it? The other guy. Uh, Price is Right. That kind of thing. At the daytime uh, when people are like... Don't sue us, please. You know? Bob. Don't sue us, Bob. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on What Tools Inside for more giveaways, more fun. Until then, stay safe. Have your pets spayed or neutered. This is Matt and I'm Josh. See you next time.